A couple of software engineers are being blamed for the massive Volkswagen emissions cheating scandal. That's what a top Volkswagen executive said today at a congressional hearing in Washington. The Los Angeles Times quotes Michael Horn, VW's chief, as claiming this was a couple of software engineers who put this in for whatever reason. To my understanding, this was not a corporate decision. This was something individuals did. To his credit, Horn also apologized and said he only learned of the problem a few days before the company admitted it to regulators on September 3rd. The company suspended three employees, but at this point, most lawmakers as well as the general public are not buying that the most sweeping vehicle emissions fraud in history was solely the work of a handful of rogue software engineers. According to 9to5Mac's Mark Gurman, the Apple TV and the new iPad Pro will be available for pre-order at the end of October and in stores by early November. 9to5Mac sources say pre-orders will also reach customers in early November. Gurman adds that Apple will launch a new 4K 21.5-inch iMac possibly as early as next Tuesday, October 13th. Netflix will raise the price of its standard streaming plan by a dollar, bringing it from $8.99 a month to $9.99 a month. But for now, that's only for new customers. Current customers won't see a price increase until October 2016. And another price hike news, Verizon customers who've been desperately clinging to their unlimited data plans will see a $20 increase on their bills come November 15th. This follows Sprint's similar news about an upcoming increase for unlimited data plans. Engadget says that less than 1% of Verizon customers have managed to hold on to that unlimited plan and that Verizon has confirmed that any customers under contract with unlimited data will not see the price increase until their agreement is up for renewal. Speaking at the Code Mobile conference today, Google's head of search, Amit Singhal, said that people have the right to be forgotten online. CNET reported on the quote from the conference, which is in direct opposition to the company's official stance on the right to be forgotten. Singhal said, I have a lot of empathy for some teenager doing something they shouldn't have, and that chases them for the rest of their life. We're a forgiving society. I believe we should find ways to make that possible. Now, I think all of us can agree with that theoretically, especially if you went to college in the days before YouTube, but Google doesn't seem to be making this empathy official. Last year, Google was forced to honor right to be forgotten requests in Europe by a court mandate that the company publicly disagreed with. They have not yet been compelled to honor the same requests in the United States.